Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Boulevardia is back after being canceled for the past two years because of COVID-19. Organizers say the two-day urban festival is set to draw in pre-pandemic crowd numbers. They're expecting a lot of people. Also bringing that boost to the downtown KC location, which happens to be a new spot this year. That's right. So the first time in three years we get to have Boulevardia since 2019. Let's get to KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon. She's live at Crown Center this morning. Daniela, this is a big move for Boulevardia this year. New location and their biggest music lineup ever. That's exactly right. Good morning, Lindsay and Taylor. Crown Center is ready to roll out the red carpet and welcome Boulevardia here. Now, tickets have been sold all over the United States for Boulevardia, and the Westin will have some international guests staying there as well. So as you can imagine, this is a huge deal, not just for businesses, but hotels as well. Take a listen. Boulevardia is coming back with a bang. Its new Crown Center location will be filled with an expected crowd of more than 40,000 people. A highly anticipated event, not just for ticket holders, but businesses too. We're trying to channel the like festival vibe. Who are making sure they have enough product for the big event. We've been prepping for about six to eight weeks on getting the product uh, ordered, in, prepped, priced, all of that. From retro shades, flashy fanny packs, eye-catching earrings, and a large variety of butterfly clips, EB Co. says they have the right accessories to catch people's attention at the event and reel them inside their brick-and-mortar plaza location. There's just so many awesome opportunities to meet um, our customer in the wild and uh, giving them things that they actually need in that moment. And they're not alone. Hotel staff at the Weston and Sheraton in KC are hard at work putting the final touches and getting ready. Friday night we are sold out of both hotels, but Saturday we still have a little bit of availability for you. The hotel partnered with the festival to host all of its beer and food vendors and offer hotel packages for the first time. Rooms will be filled with festival goers from 20 different states and even Belgium. With gas prices, people are wanting to stay local. They're wanting to do events that they don't have to travel very far for. So Boulevardia is just one of those events for people that are able to do that here locally. In 2019, organizers conducted a study and found out the festival had a $1.3 million economic impact in Kansas City. With a new location and larger vendor and musical lineup, businesses are confident it'll continue to be an economic driver for KC. You know, I think they're anticipating 40,000 people this weekend, which is nuts. So even if we get a tenth of that just to walk by the booth and, you know, um, it'll be really huge. Daniela Leone, KSHB 41 News. So here's a little preview of what's in store, you guys. We've got the Ferris wheel up and running this morning. We have selfie stations. We already have some food trucks parked already at 6 a.m. And as you can see, we have a lineup of vendors over here to my right, just raid, ready to greet the tens of thousands of people expected to be out here at Boulevardia over the next two days. Lindsay and Taylor. And lots of, you know, it's a really, lots of shade, lots of trees in yes. the area. That's where Irish Fest is in the fall. It's so they spot. know that that spot works for a festival. That's be good, Daniela. Thank you so much. And the party continues. The West End throwing an after party for Father's Day. Tell us about that. Whoa. Yes, the fiesta continues, and the Westin's really excited about this. So, yes, it's happening right over there to my right. Tickets for this event can be found at Eventbrite. Some of the musical guests that will be performing at Boulevardia will kick off that Father's Day fiesta. If you guys will, there will be food, giveaways, lots of music, lots of party time. And we got the World Cup just saying. Yeah. It's going to be a fun time. If it's for Father's Day for moms and dads, does the after party start at 8 I'm just like Father's Day. <laughs> You could have stayed up late. That's a plan that. we could do. Daniela, <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks, Daniela. Uh, the festival runs from 4 until 11 tonight. From 11 until 11 tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, I might be tired at 11. Yep, yep. <laughs> you can do it. Tickets are still available. You can buy them on the Boulevardia website. Those tickets give you access to all six stages featuring more than 60 artists throughout today and tomorrow. Kids 12 and under get in for free. Okay, if you're looking to save some money on parking, you can hop on the free streetcar and ride it down to the Union Station Crown Center stop. It'll drop you off about a block from the festival, really, really close. They also have designated drop-off and pickup areas for ride shares. If you're driving, parking at the Crown Center garages is free, or if those are full, they have additional paid lots around there, too. But